Microsoft AS 220 exam is a new exam of Microsoft Azure IoT developer. If you pass this exam, you will be eligible for the Microsoft Certified Azure IoT Developer Specialty Certification. Pass question Microsoft AS 220 exam questions will help you prepare for your AS 220 exam. It covers the exam objectives and topics you will be tested on. Pass question Microsoft AS 220 testing engine simulates the actual exam experience which can help you pass your AS 220 exam successfully. Question 1. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. Some question sets might have more than one correct solution, while others might not have a correct solution. After you answer a question in this question, you will not be able to return to it. As a result, these questions will not appear in the review screen. You have an Azure IoT solution that includes an Azure IoT hub, a device provisioning service instance, and 1,000 connected IoT devices. All the IoT devices are provisioned automatically by using one enrollment group. You need to temporarily disable the IoT devices from the connecting to the IoT hub. Solution, you delete the enrollment group from the device provisioning service. Does the solution meet the goal? A, yes. B, no. Answer, B. Question 2. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. Some question sets might have more than one correct solution, while others might not have a correct solution. After you answer a question in this question, you will not be able to return to it. As a result, these questions will not appear in the review screen. You have an Azure IoT solution that includes an Azure IoT hub, a device provisioning service instance, and 1,000 connected IoT devices. All the IoT devices are provisioned automatically by using one enrollment group. You need to temporarily disable the IoT devices from the connecting to the IoT hub. Solution, from the IoT Hub, you change the credentials for the shared access policy of the IoT devices. Does the solution meet the goal? A, yes. B, no. Answer, B. Question 3. You plan to deploy a standard tier Azure IoT Hub. You need to perform an over-the-air update on devices that will connect to the IoT Hub by using scheduled jobs. What should you use? A. A device to cloud message. B. The device twin reported properties. C. A cloud to device message. D. A direct method. Answer. D. Question 4. You have an IoT device that gathers data in a CSV file named sensors.csv. You deploy an Azure IoT hub that is accessible at contosohub.azure-devices.net. You need to ensure that sensors.csv is uploaded to the IoT hub. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. 
A. Upload sensors.csv by using the IoT Hub REST API. B. From the Azure subscription, select the IoT Hub, select Message Routing, and then configure a route to storage. C. From the Azure subscription, select the IoT Hub, select File Upload, and then configure a storage container. D. Configure the device to use a GET request to Contoso Hub. Azure dash devices. Net slash devices slash Contoso device one slash files notifications. Answer A C. Question five. You plan to deploy an Azure IoT hub. The IoT Hub must support the following three Azure IoT Edge devices, 2500 IoT devices. Each IoT device will spend a 6 kilobytes message every 5 seconds. You need to size the IoT Hub to support the devices. The solution must minimize costs. What should you choose? A. One unit of the S1 tier. B. One unit of the B2 tier. C. One unit of the B1 tier. D. One unit of the S3 tier. Answer, D. Question 6 You create an Azure IoT Hub by running the following command. As IoT Hub create, resource group my resource group, name my IoT Hub, SKU B1 location Westus, partition count 4 What does my lot hub support? A. Device provisioning service B. Cloud to device messaging C. Azure IoT Edge D. Device twins answer, A. Question 7. You have an existing Azure IoT Hub. You need to connect physical IoT devices to the IoT Hub. You are connecting the devices through a firewall that allows only port 443 and port 80. Which three communication protocols can you use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. A. MQTT over WebSocket B. AMQP C. AMQP over WebSocket D. MQTT E. HTTPS Answer, ACE Question 8. You have an Azure IoT solution that includes an Azure IoT Hub and 100 Azure IoT Edge devices. You plan to deploy the IoT Edge devices to external networks. The firewalls of the external networks only allow traffic on port 80 and port 443. You need to ensure that the devices can connect to the IoT Hub. The solution must minimize costs. What should you do? A. Configure the devices for extended offline operations. B. Configure the upstream protocol of the devices to use MQTT over WebSocket. C. Connect the external networks to the IoT solution by using ExpressRoute. D. Configure the devices to use an HTTPS proxy. Answer, B. Question 9. What should you do to identify the cause of the connectivity issues? A. Send cloud to device messages to the IoT devices. B. Use the heartbeat pattern to send messages from the IoT devices to IoT Hub 1. C. Monitor the connection status of the device twin by using an Azure function. 
d. Enable the collection of the connection's diagnostics logs and set up alerts for the connected device's count metric. Answer, D.